Hello people and welcome back to my No Man's Sky playthrough slash walkthrough slash let's play whatever the words they use these days. Um, basically I'm just playing this game for fun and if you want to hang out with me while I do it, feel free. Um, last we were playing, uh, I was just, uh, well I had just landed on a starship um, or a star base. Um, and we had gotten inside and so we're going to find out what's going on in there. How are your experiences with the game? I'd love to know. Um, please comment and tell me what you're up to, where you are, what you're doing. I expect that you're very far ahead of me or perhaps you're not even interested in this game and you find it crazy and boring. Is that a different ship? No, that's my one. Okay. So this is a pretty uh, Tron-like starbase. Um, just did a scan there and I don't see anything. There's some stuff up there. Let's go up this um, staircase. Got some nice um, footstep effects there. I remember in Resident Evil 2, oh there's a guy down there, there was a path that you could walk on early on in the game and it, the sound effects of the feet walking were just so weird. It was like a basketball bouncing on springs. Um, Sound effects have gotten much better in the day. Here's that robot again. They all look the same, these robots. Uh, mathematician Entity de Guest. Interact. Hello, Governor. What are you on about? Corvax. Vikinu Borod Ak. I have no idea. The electronic life form's bright greeting suddenly glows. It taps its way into its personal data while its facial lights uh, dilate and internal systems crash. Columns of streaming data show its power levels spiraling downwards. The life form looks to me for help and then points to my gathered resources with a single slow and desperate movement. I don't want to just walk away, I'd like to give him something. Also, he, so this description here doesn't really match what he's doing here. He's just looking at his iPad. He's on Instagram right now. Can he even get Instagram on an iPad? Maybe he's on Twitter. He's just on Twitter. All right. Uh... Uh, well, I guess I have to walk away. I don't have uncommon isotopes. And watch him be sad. The entity's Mars lights go out. A fresh electronic life form is downloaded into its metal shell. It ignores me. Oh. You're sending... Well, I'm sorry. I. It said I didn't have the stuff. Ah, the freaking Corvax. Okay, got a journey miles done. Let's see what it says. Known. Met two aliens with four fingers. Or three fingers and a thumb. Great, that's cool. Um, boing. Galactic Trade Tournament. That's great. This is what I like. Sell items from your inventories. Buy items from the Galactic Trade Network. Let's sell items. So let's go to my starship inventory first. What don't we want for now? Gek charms. What do they do? Good luck charm. Yeah, I don't need that. So I don't need good luck. <laughs> Great. Um, let's get rid. Of, what's the dagger do? Largely ceremonial weapon. Yeah, let's sell that. Platinum, I may need. Fascination beads, get rid of those. Oh, hang on. Gold metal sphere used to temporarily increase pressing film electronic. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Gek nip. Edible product, much beloved by the Gek, allows beaked traders to release delightfully scented packets of ga gas for a prolonged period of time. Yeah, I can get rid of that, that's fine. Wow, look at my units. 102,000 units. Um. What else do we want to sell? Zinc. Oh, we can keep that. Can't sell any of this. Okay, in my exosuit. What can we sell? Zinc again. Might need these things, so I might keep what I've been mining. Okay. What can I buy from the Galactic Trade Network? This is like Amazon, but in space. Uh, okay, so this is stuff that I can buy. What, what would be good? 
uh, device necessary in the construction of many of the technologies that aid the exploration of the galaxy. Oh, look, they've even got suspension fluid. Non-reactive and pressure-resistant liquid, vital to the manufacture of Starship and Exosuit technologies. Okay. Cool. It's very expensive. Uh, so is that. It's going to get to a point where I'm going to see this, and I'll, I'll pass over it now, for example, the dynamic resonator. But then in like maybe maybe 30 minutes time, I'll be like, I really need a dynamic resonator, and I won't have enough money to buy it. It always happens in video games. Um, Chrysonite. A very powerful element used in many advanced technology blueprints, components, and product formulas found in blue crystalline structures. Um, Corvax casing. The metallic shell of a disconnected electronic life form that was too distant from its kind to be refreshed with a new entity. There you go. Um, light metal alloy traded alloy traded throughout the galactic outer edge, often used in the interiors of trading shuttles to reduce weight as they ascend from planets. I don't know what I want. One that much. Let's let's get out of here. Thank you. Well, they're saying the temperature in here is zero degrees Celsius. These robots like it cold. Uh, does nothing. Let's look out this window. Can't see anything. New business. Nice. Let's go into my menu once this frees up. Come on. Okay. What do I need? What do I want to do? So, mining. All of these are fine. My exosuit. First of all, let's fix this. I guess, yeah, we'll use the power canister. Everything else seems fine. Starship. Let's get some more plutonium into that nothing pulse engines I need thamium and this needs plutonium okay that's fine and what can I do here so install technology craft product create a useful or valuable material transfer them so let's what can I do? All my tech. So I need all the phase beam, laser cooldown times. And that one is Starship Energy Shield strengthened. Cool. Multi tool. There's no room because I've done everything there. Exosuit. What can we install? Again, I need iron and carbon. Chris. Alright. It looks like I need to go mining. Shitload. Let's craft something there. Can I craft anything? No. Need more iron. Oh, this looks like there's a lot of building that will be needed. Locked door. The Atlas Pass. I need that Atlas Pass. Um, should we chat to this guy who's angry with me? I don't even have the carbon to interact with him. Yowzers. Alright, what I might do. Um, this place looks good, but. There's nothing for me to do here now. I do have to follow that thing on the bottom right, but I couldn't get through that. Um, oh, oh, there's a lot of people here now. I couldn't get through that um, that rock slide that had happened in it. Um, there he is on his iPad. Okay, uh, don't know what he's saying. The lights in the electronic life forms mask constrict as it prepares to enter trade negotiations. It indicates that it's open to discuss trade goods and the purchase of its starship. Buy items from the life form. Let's see what he's got. I kind of wish here it would. I could see what I needed as well at the same time. That would be very helpful. Um, I've only got 102. Uh, 
else we got? Unstable plasma. Plutonium. Should we buy some of this? Might just buy all his plutonium. How do I... Do I just go here? Great. Uh, oh, should I get a Gek Charm? No. Um, what does this one do? Soft workable alloy, alloy favoured by artisans throughout the known galaxy. A popular trading good with many galactic shipping paths devoted to its sale and transport. Don't need that. Antimatter. Contain negative matter and baryogenesis antiparticles. A force harnessed in many starship and exosuit systems. Not least hyperdrive, hyperdrive technology. Okay. Uh, I don't. I just need normal stuff, I think, at the moment to just build things. You know what I mean? But I, ah, this is frustrating. Let's back out of there. How much is the starship? Whoa. It's the same price as a Lamborghini Aventador. There's no way I can afford that. Okay, out. Um, yeah, that's cool. And now they're gone so quickly, just like that. All right. Hang on, what's up there? Let's go up that side. So I believe this game is sort of like semi-multiplayer in that we're all playing in the same world but not necessarily together. Uh, Atlas Pass. Um, which will be interesting to see how that works out um, as time goes on, whether or not they open that up so we can see each other um, or how we do interact with each other. Uh, I wonder if we go into options and we can look at my discoveries uh, on, say, this, this planet here. Um, what can I... Rename and upload. Name your discovery. So I can call this whatever I want, can I? That's pretty cool. Um, what should be the first thing? Well, let's name one of the animals instead. Let's name. Let's name this one. What should we name him? He's got snail eyes. What should <laughs> I'm gonna call this snail cat? Super. Um, thought through that one. Hang on. What I'm going to do is call it snail space. Should I name it something normal? What would you name? Have you named any animals? I would love to know what you've called them. <laughs> there must be some freaking stupid names out there. I'm going to go with Snail Cat for this. Just something simple. Don't even know if it's the cat. Let's go done. Oh. How many units did I get for that? Where are the units? So, called the Snail Cat. Let's, what's this one? I'm going to call this one... Oh, uh, upload Discovery to receive 2,500 units. So, we're uploading, I guess. And then let's rename. Let's call this one... He look -a like a man. He look -a like a deer. He he look he looked like a man. This is a semi racist sketch that was on Mad TV. He look uh, like a uh, deer. Or is it yeah. Ah, oh, so if I name things I get money for them as well. Rename and upload. So people naming these across the universe. Wow, there's gonna be a lot of horrible names up there. Um this could get really boring, couldn't it, as well? Let me go... Super... 
Red. <laughs> Red fern. Super boring. What have you guys named your plants? Um, or animals? Um, and do you do this a lot? Let's just name the these guys. Look at that. Whoa. He's got... I don't know if I can pause it, but... Looks like six... He's got four limbs, but like tentacles or six toes on every single one. This is very much like what... Um, um, the botanists did in the early days of exploration, just going places and naming things. And like if there was a guy called Steve standing next to it, it would say, you know, Steve's cat, which is what I'm going to call this now. Um, you know, if a guy had died um, nearby a cove that they had discovered, it would be like Johnny's Cove, because that's where he died. Um, so many places are named like that. There's a place in Australia, I think it's 1777 or something like that when they um, when the ship kind of got near there that's what they named the whole town the year 1777 uh, I think it's 1777 don't um, don't quote me on that what did I call this one Steve's what Steve's cat I don't even know who Steve is but um, let's just go with that Steve's cat all right done rejected by profanity filter Cannot accept this name. It has been rejected by the profanity filter. Please try naming your dis... How is Steve's cat profanity? That is pure satanic madness. Um, Alright, try again. Gots. Let's go. Gots. Toes. Gots toes. Because that's what he's got. Alright. <laughs> and it's there. If you look up there on the top right here, it's got... He look like a deer. Gots toes snail cat. So if I go back to that place, I could maybe name all these animals if I go looking for them and, and scanning them properly. And I, this is just giving me money for this. Uh, and if I go to the other planet, which I don't think there are any animals there. Did I discover anything? No. But here I did. Uh, Alright, I'll just quickly finish this up. Please, uh, this is... Uh, I'm going to name this one. For a very nice commenter on my videos, um, <laughs> uh, Pacific Rim Job. I'm going to call this guy Pacific Rim Job. In honor of that commenter. If anyone else wants their plants... Or plant, they want plants, trees, um, animals, whatever else I can name after their username. Please comment and let me know. This is going to be called Pacific Rim Job because he has the craziest YouTube name I've ever seen. Pacific Rim Job. Do I get away with that? Ah, Pacific Rim Job, you, you curse me. <laughs> I can't help you. All right, you need to have names that don't have. Um, profanity in them so let's uh, uh let's i'll try pacific rim nah that's a oh, pacific job pacific r job how does that sound at the moment you're sitting there going why am i watching a guy type into a computer because that's boring but uh I, I would watch it too pacific uh or i would just turn off which you can go for it pacific r job do I get over that? Yes! That's for you. <laughs> That's for you, Pacific R job. Um, so I've got these records up here. The plants don't necessarily get called that. Um, oh, there's another another cat here. Another. It's got like a, a shell on its back. What should we call this one? Um. Let's call it. Yeah. Nah. Which is a uh, very common Australian saying. Yeah, nah. That means no. It means what they're saying there is yes, no. <laughs> I feel like you have to have some sort of responsibility when you're doing this. Do you know what I mean? Like this, if this is an actual universe that we're all existing in, should we be doing this properly? 
Um, and I, I reckon there will be places that will start up that will um, talk about the naming of these animals and, and what they should be named based on Earth-like criteria using their um, Latin names and all of that sort of stuff. So people are probably going to... I don't know if you can. Maybe they can come and rename these animals, but they're going to be very upset. Or they're going to go, in the beginning, it was called a yeah na from an idiot uh, from Australia, but we renamed it to Flassiabges, blah, 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 and that is its correct name. Uh, I'm going to just quickly finish this um, just to finish it, see what happens. Um, I'm going to call this mushroom, question mark. Ah, sorry. Uh, room and we want uh, the question mark there <laughs> and we'll just go to the this one we'll call this oops uh, call this one bluey yeah so please submit the names that you would like things to be called uh, I'd love to uh, have a list here and that will help me name these things because they're pretty pretty tricky. Any usernames, any friends names, um, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, okay, so anyway, that's discoveries. If we go to journey, uh, blah, 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 controls, yeah, that's fine. Let's, so I've got discovery uploaded, 8,000 units received. Let's get into this guy. Oh, there's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So I haven't been to this planet. If I look at it, if I scan it, for example, does that work? Does it tell me about the planet? Because I want to go somewhere that might have a bit more minerals, because I think I need to do some mining. Um, and all these planets are a bit, bit hot, a bit extreme. There seems to be... I don't know if these are other people in the game, but there's a lot now. That's, so I've been there, and that's where that outpost is. Um, there's a lot more plane activity in the sky now than there was when I started. A lot more. I wonder if as people play this game, it gets... Um, it gets filled up with people playing it, depending on how many are. Um, this planet seems okay, so I haven't been there. So why don't we, we go have a look at it, at least. I'm going to pulse my way into it. Planetary... Okay, that's fine. What's this planet like? Let's find out. It looks like it's got nothing on it. I wonder if I should be doing a lot of mining in space as well with my with my ship. Come on, when do you get down to the planet? So, I want to just check if there's anything useful here. You know what I mean? Let's, uh... Because it looks pretty bare. Oh, there's a couple of things here. In these caves. Radio signal detected. Oh, there's, there's a lot of things around here. Let's follow these guys and see what what they want me to do. Because is this another player in the game down here? I don't... I'm trying to catch up to these guys. going very quickly I kind of like I like that the whole world is discoverable and we share it but that we're not all together I think it would just become a bit too violent and people would just attack you and steal all your things and it would just become a bit too much I think the the exploring parts of this game are, are fun that's um oops oh I'm landing oh nothing I think oh landing in the little cave all right What's this planet like? Unclouded skies, relaxed, nothing. There's no flora, there's no fauna. Um, is it a... Is it, is it bad for me, this planet? 
I think we need to do a lot of mining though, that's for sure. Um, here we go, the old mine. And I guess we need to... Ooh, delicious iron. What is this? More iron. Um, there's plutonium, which is good. There's going to be some super rare elements in the uh, in the world that will become a huge problem. I think. I think a lot of people will be competing for that sort of stuff. Uh, let's run over to this. There are these guys now. What are these sentinels? What do they What do they want from me? Nothing from there. Plutonium is always good. Yes. Well, gold. Oh no. What is this one? Emeril. Let's take it. So again, yet this planet is... So I can change to the bolt caster of the mining vein. So I've, this is a lot of uh, mining to uh, do in this game. Do I even need emerald? I guess you kind of like keep mining, go back up to that star base, sell it, come back. There's a lot of that sort of grinding behavior that will be needed in this game, I guess, to to advance and get all the gear that you need. Um, I reckon what I what I need to do is kind of build up my spaceship so that I can travel to other star systems because um, all these planets are very similar. They're also very close together, it feels like to me. So here we are. I think those those aliens like silicate, don't they? The um, the robot aliens that I've encountered on this um, in this galaxy. Oh, look at that up there! Beautiful. I still can't get over how big this game is. It's just amazing how big it is. Uh, oh, there's some some guys up ahead. So, if you're playing this game at the moment, what is your objective? What do you what do you want to do? Do you just want to exist, um, you know, and get really strong and oh, just goes down. Um, do you want, or do you want to go to the center of the universe like they suggest you to? I hear that um, it, it, as you get closer to the center, the um, it scales the difficulty. So you might find, you know, bad dudes out there and all that sort of stuff um, that will make it difficult to advance. So you kind of need to retreat a little uh, so you can get. Um, get the stuff you need to be able to um, do well. This one looks like a different colour, what's that? Lots of mining to do. Well, wow, there's a lot down there. I take this plant. Just carbon. All right. 
So in this respect, I guess it's very similar to Minecraft in a way. Lots of, lots of mining, lots of gathering things, collecting, which takes up a lot of time. Okay, so let's go into here. We need to move some things to the ship, which... Uh, uh, let's go... Oh, I did it anyway. Let's fix this with plutonium. That's cool. Am I close to my starship? Out of range. That's fine. How can I transfer things to it if it's out of range? Whatever. Uh, all good. Nothing. And if I... No active technology in multi-tool. Ah, oh, there's the thing. Is there anything for me to take photos of? Look around. So say for example this plant. Can I... Ah, oh, there we are. Analyzing new discovery. So I guess I can name that, upload it, get some money for it. Wow. This could take forever. I feel like I've discovered that already. Carbon? I thought it said there were... There's no plant life on this planet. These all seem like plants to me. Anyway. What is that over there? Let's go check that out. Running on a surface of another planet Running around and seeing a flag Out of breath can I blast it from here? No. Just like to sit in my in my lounge chair and just mine without moving. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix my my multi tool as well quickly because it's added juice on the mining beam. What do you want? Plutonium. Let's fix it with some carbon because that's everywhere. Mm. What's the point in mining all that stuff? Okay, that's cool. What is it? Waypoint. Interact with the beacon. Hey oh Zoom. So what does that show me there? There's that another question mark. I should probably go visit that. Advanced life form detected. Ah. Perfect. Should we go visit it? Yes. I think we shall. Um Okay. Let's turn off the light. Don't want to waste electricity now. It's a bit of a waste. Let's... I think it was this way, but how far do I want to stay out in the elements? Okay. What's that sound? I can't, I just, I don't understand. I think this game is only six gigabytes big or something like that on the disc. How is it this big? You know? Or is it? That's. That's the other planet. Where am I going? 30 minutes to that shelter. No, no way. Okay, we'll go. Whoa. There's a lot of plutonium here. Yummy! Yeah, what I might do is I'll get back into my ship. Here we are. What does that mean? What are they doing? Can I communicate with them? Can someone help me? I actually don't know what they are. Can someone tell me what those sentinels are? What they're doing? Am I meant to interact with them? I'm a bit lost as to their purpose. Uh, how far away is my ship? My two minutes. 
joy. You really just gotta get in, like constantly take off with it, and then you know charge up its landing um, fuel and all that sort of stuff. What's my milestone? Drifter. There's some guys. And why are they flying together? What are they doing? Are they other players in the game? I don't know. Uh, on the way back, I'll pull up past that big block there. And there's another thing up there too. Oh, jeez. It's just daunting how big this game is. Okay, okay, I get it. There's some gold. Probably be a good idea to get some gold on my way back. That's too far away. Oh, come on. I like that you can just carve this out, just make a structure of your own being. You know, you can almost make some art with it. That'll, that'll do. I need to get back to my ship. Mine as you go. Wow, so big. Alright, on the way back I will... Uh, bloody life support. Okay, uh, life support. I'm kind of just wasting plutonium, mining for plutonium. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy. There's a little dude. What are you? Why are you on every planet? Are you just on this planet or are you following me? I don't know. I can't wait till I get a mega jetpack that can hold maximum boost. Boost. Where's my ship? Just down there. Okay. I'll just get this. Let's get some gold. No. Emerald. I wonder if there's a way to specifically target the things that you need um, and just focus on that instead of, you know, like going to a planet and looking. I wonder if you can scan a planet before you get to it. I haven't been able to see how to do that yet. Uh, where's my ship? Down in this cave. Look at that parking job. Sweet parking job. All right, let's take off. Now, we need to visit... There's a person on this planet, I think. I think we'll do that first. I think these red things are important. Uh oh, what did I just do? What was that sound? Why have I gone so high? Okay, so we're going to head to this shelter. I feel like these things are important. They continue to stay on my map. Um, there's another one just at the top of my screen there that you can see. Um, and that's on another planet. And that's the guy that's trapped in the rock flow. And I have no idea how to get him out. So I'm going to go to this one and see what the situation is. And then I can figure out if that one on the other planet is important and I should focus on that or not. Um, but look how big this is. There's a little dwelling down there. You know what I mean? Should it be this big? Yes, it really should. Whoa. Let's fly upside down for a while. The controls on this ship are really nice. I find the um, the rotating quite... Oh, let's... Ah, uh, landed too far away. That's alright. No, no. Oh, I thought I was going into a cave. Okay. I need to get better at landing on those helipads. So that's the shelter there. Oh no, here. Destination reached. Let's save. 
I wonder if you can discover planets and then name the planet itself. Um, and then people can come along, find that planet and and see that you have named it already. That would be very cool. Especially if they Atlas Pass, Jettison Pod. Great, thank you. Now, over here, what is that? Probably can't do anything with it. Bypass chip. I need to figure out how to get these bypass chips. Let's go in here if I can. Yep. Anything inside? Ugh. So I got new technology discovered. Range boost sigma. Scanner's detection range is increased. That's good. A powerful output modulator filters local information uh, from an increased distance into users visualization systems uh, operates automatically once constructed with users multi-tool inventory so I need no, I don't have any of those that's odd okay um, and this what, what does that do health it gives me health those crystals okay cool let's go to the other area check out what's on here uh, okay, let's move some stuff. Let's move that to my starship. And we can move that to the starship as well. Maybe some iron. Oh, someone's here. Hello. Well, ugh, this is a big ship. Engineering entity, Inyev. Uh, don't understand any of those words. The electronic life forms lights briefly flicker off and on. A new entity looks at out at me from behind the mask. It's perhaps an entity that's better tool to negotiate trade with alien species. Uh, I can't afford that for sure. Let's see how much it is. Whoa, 1.5 mil. It's got oh no, I'm gonna chat to you. Sorry. Uh, does he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what does he have? Power gel. Chiro sheet. Micro density fabric. Extremely versatile and used throughout the galaxy in exosuit, multi tool, and starship technologies. Um, yeah, let's, let's buy that. Um, suspension fluid. Oh, that's expensive. Plutonium, we need platinum, iron, thamium. Let's buy all of that. Perfect. And magmox, highly prized and lustrous alloy, popular with traders of all known primary galaxies. Races easily recognizable by its bright red glow and strong magnetic field. But what does it do? 37. No, I need that for other stuff at the moment. Let's. Does he want to buy anything from me? Uh, doesn't want those. Wants the fabric back that I just bought off him. Um, no. Okay. Let's leave him alone. Uh, already. Yeah. Okay. Life support. It's <sighs> frustrating. Okay. Let's fix all these things now, anyway. Dagger, which I might. 
Let's sell the dagger to this guy. See if he wants my dagger. Okay, yep. That's all good. Cool, okay. And... Oh, he does, for a lot. Perfect. And sell. Perfect, let's just go inside. Don't need that. How do I talk to this person? Entity flot. Point of interest. I startle the electronic life form from its work. It greets me politely, but when it sees my bolt cast, it starts to vibrate with fear. The entity's voice quavers, and its mask slowly turns to a single dilated red light. It clearly wants to get back to its research work, but is too terrified to take its gaze away from me. The more I try to calm it, the more the poor thing convulses with fear. Insist that I come in peace. The life form's face suddenly wipes. It reboots with that of another. The replacement entity ignores me. Oh man, these Corvacs, they're hard to deal with. Okay, do we want a better gun? Let's have a look at it. How much is it? 45? Let's, uh, let's compare. So it's got three more spaces, which is good. Let's accept it. Oh, sorry. And accept. Perfect. The trade terminal here, which is great. Okay, got boot sequence, blah blah blah. Sell items. Let's sell stuff we don't need. Um oh, I might need that stuff, zinc. Oh, because I'm too far away from my plane, maybe? Ah, oh, that's annoying. What about buy? More... F oh, fabric. Um, Thermium, let's get all of that. through here, outside. So, if I was meant to come here, what was I meant to do? There's another ship. Lots of trading going on. Uh, the electronic life form processes my appearance next to its starship. It directs its mask lights towards the cargo hold. It is clearly open to trade, and to discuss the potential sale of its craft. Maybe it wants to get rid of it. I do not have the money. <laughs> um, that's fine. Uh, let's have a look. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, yep, yep. We've all read that. Um, can I sell? Plutonium, no, no, I need all that. Looks like we need the same things. And I've got no room to, f my inventory's full. Right. What was I meant to do here though? You know what I mean? Like it wanted me to, to come here, which I've done. I saved that point. Save progress and claim sector. Waypoint signal received. Save progress and save. Okay, cool. Just 
just going to sit here where it's a bit safer and figure out what I need to do with my with my ship. Uh, okay. So this ship sucks because it's got no space in it. Um, let's install tech on this bolt caster, which I thought I already had. Um, anyway, let's let's build that. Oh, because it didn't have a weapon, I see. Yep. Um, optical enhancement and creature discovery system allows user to tag and identify planetary creatures and to identify distant waypoints. Yeah, I need that. So I've lost those things, did I? So what does this do? Land disruption technology and excavation tool. Launched plasma shells explode on impact. Charged with isotope elements, careless use can result in disrupted alien ecosystems and damage to user. Okay. And... I can't fix it at the moment. Seems like it's full. What do we want to add in here? So... Scanner's detection range is increased, or do we want faster mining beam? Processes on re enjoy quicker element extraction from crystals. Do we want to see further, or this? Let's, I guess we're going to need to mine for the next period of time, so let's do that. Now, on my starship, all of its things are full, so we should be able to sell those. Let's um, actually get out and press that L1 and see what happens. Yeah? Let's do it on... Um, is that too far away? That's closer. Should we go up there? Let's do it. We'll go over that way and we'll... Um, I'll use L1 on that, uh, that rock thing first. I kind of wish there were some animals on this planet. No, just robots. Okay. Oh, that's the bolt caster. Okay, we're gonna... Do you think this is close enough? Whoa. Why would I need to do that? Hmm, that doesn't there must be a reason must be just like a, a grenade. Ugh, keep using everything. Um kind of need to just hang out near one of those things. Mine, come back and sell. Uh, we're going over this way. Can I mine this? Or am I completely full? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look up here. I wonder how big the animals can get on these planets, like if they can become huge or or how that works. Um, what is this little area? Nice. Perfect. Okay. Yep, let's take that. Thank you. So, if we go to the exosuit. I've got a new space there. Sorry. And what we don't have enough of the stuff there. Alum aluminium, plutonium, lithium, iron and carbon, which I can get for a stamina enhancement. Okay. Life support will fix. It's very stressful having to manage all these different things, but let's go get iron. And carbon. I think I just needed 20 for this to work. There's that. Now carbon is from... Oh no, iron, sorry. Iron. What would give me iron? 
There. Ah. Uh, you're kidding me. Okay. Um. How much iron do I have? Huh? Hang on a second. Where'd that go? Move and stack. What does that mean? Ah, okay. So you have to manage this as well. That's annoying. How do you move and stack things? Please tell me. Uh, starship. Can't do anything in there. Need some Femium again. My god. Okay. save here anyway. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to need to uh, figure out what I need to do with all this mining and work out my inventory a bit better. See, because it's always full. So I need to kind of keep selling stuff, I guess, or, or figure that out. But um, uh, did I get this thing in here? Yeah. Okay, so what I might do is I will leave the game there. Um, and we'll come back and we'll work out a strategy with the mining, but please feel free to leave your comments so I can um, work out what we need to do here and what we want to do. And if you have any names that you want, um, are these all humans now coming in the game? There's a lot more activity here than when I first started. Um, yeah, if you have any names that you want me to name the plants or the, 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 the animals, let me know. Okay, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.